What's up guys? This is your naturalist Harris Brooker here and in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to identify the beach fern. Stay tuned. Here's an example of a beach fern. Uh, the first thing you notice is that in comparison with its other leaves is that the bottom pair uh, are uh, bent backwards. See that? You can see the sori underneath, which is where they produce the spores. And the other thing is, it's supposed to be hairy on the top side. Maybe slightly so. Doesn't seem particularly strong on this one. Often find them clustered together in large groups, and that's because they grow uh, underground from rhizomes, and at uh, regular intervals they'll produce uh, fronds like these. It's also another another place you can see. These ferns are usually found in, uh, in wooded areas, especially uh, deciduous uh, areas, but also uh, possibly in conifer forests as well. And it's a very common species in, in Scotland in particular. But if you didn't know that uh, it was there, it could be easily dismissed as something else. This is the scale of the uh, um, beech fern. This is the scales of the beech fern uh, with no dark markings in the middle, unlike with the uh, broad buckler fern. <laughs> 